Do you know how you have victory over death? You have to call upon the Lord and be saved. Jesus Christ, our Lord, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, has victory over death. And if you call upon the Lord, you will be saved, and you too will have victory over death. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. Jesus Christ has victory over death. He will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all of all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from all of the earth, for the Lord has spoken it. A day will come when all the tears will be wiped, and there will be a new earth, and will be present forever and everlasting, and there will be no death. We will be incorruptible and present with our God, and the light will be His glory. Oh, can you imagine that? If we could only get away from what we see with these eyes and see victory and know that it's true. For there are greater things than what these eyes have ever seen. And maybe we'll see them in this lifetime if we just open our eyes and see truth. Because Christ has victory over death. I know it with all my heart. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, oh, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall he shall be brought to pass the saying that was written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Death, the dragon, the serpent, the son of perdition, the death is all that encompasses the world, the darkness, the dragon, the world itself, the forsaking of God Almighty. The only way you have victory over death is through the Lamb. Become a new creature and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and have victory over death because the only victory is through the Son. The only way to the Heavenly Father is is through the only begotten Son. And God loved so and God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And you have victory when you call upon the Lord. Have victory over death. Let me read some more sweet words. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's 1 Corinthians 15 57. 1 John 5.4 for, who, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. When we even have, in our faith, when we call upon our Lord as our Savior and know that He has victory and that we continually grow in, in that faith and our victory through our faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord, man, we have victory. It's just this big old circle that continues on. His grace is beyond what we can ever imagine. Because all we have to do is have faith in Him, His only begotten Son, that He has victory over death. Becoming new creatures in Christ, allowing the Spirit of truth to dwell in you. Be in that new light, that bright light in a dark room, lighting that whole room up. Because we have victory. Believe it. I love you so much. And I saw as it were. A sea of glass mingled with fire. And then that had gotten the victory over the beast. And over his image. And over his mark. And over the number of his name. Stand on the sea of glass. Having the harps of God. Have victory this day. Inherit the kingdom of God and be written in the Lamb's book of life from the foundation. I love you so much. God be with us this day and every day until that notable day when we see the Lord, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, who
who has the keys. He has victory. He is victory. I love you so much. Jesus Christ, that straight and narrow path to righteousness. Inherit the kingdom of God this day and call upon the Lord, Jesus Christ. I love you so much. And if you don't have a King James Bible, go get yourself one. A King James, the original King James Version. And start seeking our Lord, our Savior out. And have truth with you, always. Until that notable day. I love you so much. God be with us. We have victory.